Hi, I'm Zoe, busting four myths about job hunting. If you're smart enough to graduate, you're smart enough to get a job, in theory. Give a Grad a Go is the UK's leading specialist graduate recruitment agency. Every day, we speak to hundreds of graduates looking for their first proper job. And here's what we've learnt. Myth number one. You have to know exactly what you want to do before you start applying for jobs. No, but you will have to figure this out eventually. Just because you've graduated doesn't mean you stop learning. Use those skills to narrow down what you might want to do. For example, which bits of your degree did you enjoy? Do you like working in a team or on your own? Do you want to be behind the scenes or out front interacting with people? What's been your favourite job to date and why? Try writing down five skills that you have. Then think about how they might translate to the workplace. So, for example, if you enjoyed running a society at university, those skills might be useful in project management or client services. Just because, like most of us, you don't emerge from university with a career path all mapped out, doesn't mean you can't eliminate some areas and focus on others. But you will have to get out there, meeting and talking to people, exploring the job market and learning what is right for you. Myth number two, you have to find your perfect job now. Most people would like this to happen. It almost never does. Not least because most people haven't worked out what their perfect job is or might be in the future. You can use your learning skills to narrow down your search area. Think long and short term. Short term is all about what you want now. A decent salary so you can move out of home, staying close to your friends, and so on. Long term goals might mean thinking 10 years ahead. What experiences or what path might you have to choose to get those goals? There's no point in taking a role now that makes you miserable in the hope that all that suffering will lead somewhere in the future. So think strategically, balancing long and short term goals. Make a list of each and keep it handy when you're looking at prospective jobs. See how many long and short term boxes each job ticks and aim for a balance. Myth number three, you have to have experience in the sector you're applying for. You'll have figured out by now that the response to all the myths is no. Companies will, of course, look for relevant experience. It's your job to make your experience relevant. Be creative. For example, if you've completed an analytical dissertation, those skills might be relevant to a research-based position. Enthusiasm and tenacity go a long way. Finding that first job is all about demonstrating potential. Myth number four. You know you're never going to get a job because you keep applying and you keep getting turned down. Yep, it's tough out there, but everyone is in the same boat. Every job you don't get is just practice for the job that you will get. Think of the process of applying for jobs and going for interviews as research. If you don't get the job, always ask for feedback. After all that effort, the least you should get is some information that might help with the next application. It's smart to put yourself in the interviewer's shoes. What are they looking for? Did you make it easy for them, demonstrating capability based on past experience? Or did you expect them to do all the work by asking the right questions? All that is useless if you don't get the interview. And we all know what that feels like. You submit your carefully crafted application and nothing happens. You do it again and again and again to no effect. Life can be tough and you'll need a thick skin and perseverance to keep playing the game. But if you don't play, you can't win. Our golden rule is treat getting a job as a job in itself. If you can think of any other job hunting myths that need busting, post them on our Facebook page or register with us at giveagradago.com. The next podcast will be an insider's guide on how to write a killer CV. If you're a grad, give us a go. Thank you for listening.